Hello, how to solve this cascaded exponential problem? This is t to the power of t to the power of 2. This equals 16. We will be solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. That means that will make the left-hand side of this equation to be the same as the right-hand side. So for us to solve, we start by multiplying each of these exponents by power 2. Why? Because we have 2 here. Now, whenever you have a number here, you can solve this type of problem by multiplying each of the exponents by the same number you have here. So we are going to have this is t to the power of t to the power of 2. This is raised to the power of 2 because we have 2 here. And this equals 16 to the power of 2 because you have it here, you need to also have it here. Now, that is the first step. The second step will be for us to apply this index law. If you have a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n, this equals a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n. This is an interesting index law, and that is exactly what we are going to apply here. So, we are going to treat this t power 2 as a single term. So this will represent our n. The 2 will then represent our m. So we have n, we have n. Now we then apply this other transformative identity. That means the m is now here. Which that means the m here will come inside the bracket while the n will go outside, just like what happens here. So let's do that. We are going to have t. Remember, the base is still the same. We have t, that is the base. We now have our m, that is power 2, that is our m. And raised to the power of, we have our n, that is t power 2. This is exactly what we have been looking for. We want to have a situation that we have the base and the exponent to be the same. And this equals 16 to the power of 2. So from here, considering the fact that 16 is a perfect square, 16 equals 4 times 4. And 16 equals 4 to the power of 2. So we replace this 16 with 4 to the power of 2. So we have t to the power of 2, raised to the power of t to the power of 2. And this equals 16 which is 4 to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, the 2 that we have here. So right now, we apply the same index law, but this other term, we are going to make use of this. If you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So we need to multiply this out. We are going to have t to the power of 2, raised to the power of t to the power of 2, and this equals 4 to the power of 2 times 2. That is 4. Now, if you have a power a, and this equals b power b, you can then equate this. You can have a equals b. So, we can do the same thing here. Have you seen it? Because this and this are the same, and this and this are the same. We have t to the power of 2 equals 4. So for us to solve for t, we need to take the square root of put part of this equation. And from here on, this can eliminate the square here. Remember, square root of t is just like writing t power 1 over 2. So if you have square root of t power 2, it's just like writing t power 1 over 2 or power 2. Then going by that identity that we used earlier on, we multiply this exponent. You have 2 times 1 over 2, that is 2 over 2, and 2 over 2 is 1. So this will give us t. And this equals square root of 4 is plus or minus 2. So we have two values for t. We have t1 equals 2, and we have t2 equals negative 2. Two values for t. So, the next step 
it will be for us to insert each of these values. And let's check if it's going to satisfy this equation. So we have to check. We have t equals 2, t equals negative 2. Let's start with when t equals 2. So we have this is t power t power 2 equals 16. So we insert 2. We have 2 power 2 power 2. Is this 16? So from here, we are simply going to consider this top exponent. We have 2 power. 2 power 2 is 4. So you raise it to the power 4. This equals 16. And 2 power 4 is simply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And this equals 16. 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, this is 16. And this equals 16. Now that is done. So let's consider negative 2. Now we have t equals negative 2. Then we have t power t power 2 equals 16. We substitute negative 2 for t. We have negative 2. This raised to the power of negative 2. And raised to the power of what? 2. And this equals 16. Let's find out. Remember, if you have a power n, remember, or power m, this equals a power n times n. Don't forget that. So, we can multiply this up. Are you seeing that? So you can multiply that out. That will give us negative 4. So see something here? That will give us negative 4. So, we are then going to have negative 2 raised to the power of negative 4. Is this 16? Now, this is just like writing. Remember, if you have a power negative n, this equals 1 divided by a power n. So negative 2 raised to the power of negative 4 is just like writing. 1 divided by negative 2 to the power of 4. Have you seen it? So, negative 2 to the power of 4 will give you positive 16 because negative 1 raised to the power of 4 is the same thing as 1. When you have negative raised to the power of an even number, it will give you positive. So, this will simply give you this is 1 divided by to power 4. The negative will cancel out because of this even exponent. And this 16. So this would end up, end up giving you 1 divided by 16, which is not 16. Now, let, there is another way I, I've discovered something. So let's get back again. Let's check it this way. Second checking or check again. Let's check it this way. I substitute negative 2 t equals negative 2. I have it here. Then I have t power t power 2 equals 16. Let's have negative 2. So I have negative 2 raised to the power of negative 2 raised to the power of 2. Have you seen that? Equals 16. Then I consider this first. I have negative 2 power 2. And negative 2 power 2 is just like having negative 2 times negative 2. That is positive 4. Have you seen it? So, I'm going to replace this with 4. I now have negative 2. This is just like writing negative 2. I'm copying this now. Raise to the power of the 4 that I have left. And this equals 16. Obviously, when you have negative raised to the power of um, even number, you are going to have positive. So this will be the same thing as 2 power 4. And this equals 16. Yes, 2 power 4 is 16, and this equals 16. 
So, this are satisfied depending on how we use it. Now, the first way was using this identity. This one here, we gave us a different answer. But using this one here, actually satisfies the equation. So that is it, that is it, that is it, that is it. Anyone you think is right, you can make use of it 